what is going on youtube welcome back to another clothing guide with myself hoxton here at the hoxton trend listen in this video what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be going through 10 different winter jackets from different budgets starting from a low budget right up to more of a higher budget for you guys so that you can make some decisions on what type of jackets to look for during this winter season okay i get a lot of questions around about this time of year people ask me about winter jackets especially at different budgets so i hope i hope that this video will be helpful for you guys okay we via Roma have been are offering 35 percent off selected winter jackets including moose knuckles tp company and also who else was it oh yeah para jumpers para jumpers the description box if you want to get the code reveal to see exactly what that code is and there's a link there taking you straight over to louisa via roma so you can go and get 35 percent off okay and with that being said i'm going to get straight into it right so the first jacket i'm going to look at is one called cc piomini i think that's how you say it 3.0 recycled tech puffer jacket cc piomini are actually a, actually a company based over in italy founded in 1976 they've actually done a collaboration recently or about to do a collaboration with ducati this season for their autumn winter collection of down jackets not only that but i quite thought this jacket reminded me a lot of the canada goose lodge jacket which is actually 525 pounds or also there's a para jumpers jacket that looks like this as well which i think sits at around three four hundred pounds so for 129 pounds for an insulated jacket like this i think it's actually not too bad so that is my first pick at the lower end of the budget at 129 pounds moving on to number two we've got the marmot jacket this is the marmot um guides tech hooded down jacket marmot has been creating high quality functional jackets and equipment for mountaineers and outdoor enthusiasts for a quite a long time now the company was founded by a small group of, of american students with a passion for climbing and has since then has been committed to creating top quality products the price point of this jacket was 192 pounds down feather in it's 100 percent poly polyester on the outside it kind of reminded me a little bit like um the north face a little bit cheaper than the north face but it still has that warmth and durability that you'd expect from a winter jacket it's got a non-detachable hood with drawstrings front zip closure and a d adjustable hook and loop cuffs there is a nice little logo on the back that you can see there which is a little bit different than putting it on the arms at 192 pounds which i personally think is a really good price for a down jacket for the winter time okay but kind of like below the 200 mark now the next jacket that i want to talk to talk to you about is called the rab now this is the rab andy's pertex quantum down jacket now this has got a detachable adjustable down feather filled hood down fill inside the jacket itself and the main construction is 100 percent nylon construction on the outside now rab is quite an interesting one i quite like this because it's actually um comes from a british manufacturer of clothing uh from a guy called rob harrington who was originally from glasgow go now the history of this um rab company is pretty exciting and pretty interesting it's got quite a quite steeped on a lot of uk history so i think if you're interested in something that's kind of british and something that's constructed in the in the uk then i think rab could be a good one to look at a lot of the kind of winter winter jackets do come from canada some of them coming from italy so you don't really see much coming from the uk so i think rab is kind of up there in terms of terms of winter jackets and it's considered quite good jackets for um, extreme weather conditions so rab is definitely one that i think it's worth um checking out this one i thought was really nice i thought it reminded me a little bit like a moncler if i'm to be honest with you 259 pounds for a um fully down insulated jacket i think is quite decent okay so that's my number three is the rab andy's pertex quantum down jacket right moving on to the next one is the north face now north face needs no introduction the north face nopsy i think i read somewhere that it was rated like one of the top down jackets in terms of popularity 270 pounds on, on the north face louisa Roma are doing a string of different colors on there uh, but this one is 100 nylon that's definitely one to check out is the north face retro style nopsy down jacket at 270 pounds now another jacket that i've come across is quite a brand called 313 now i did try to look in to this brand but i couldn't find out too much about them but i thought they were quite interesting because the jacket actually reminded me a lot of something i'd see from the the supreme north um, north face collection this one is 278 pounds i know the brand is um italian and i believe it is constructed over in italy as well but i just thought their designs were a little bit unique and different so for example you've got this one here which is a medium weight camo down jacket this one kind of reminded me of one of the collections that came out with the north face and supreme uh, a couple of years ago so i just thought in terms of design this was something that was a little bit different but i thought the pricing wasn't too bad as well so you can see the camo one was 312 but the black one that i actually selected was 270 
78 pounds. So if you're trying to keep it below 300 pounds, this could be a good selection to um, to try out and have a look for. Okay, right. Moving on to number six is the Arcteryx. Now I've been talking about Arcteryx quite a lot because I am actually a fan of Arcteryx myself. Now Arcteryx were based in the north of Canada. The name is actually taken after the first reptile to develop feathers after flight. If you look at the logo, it kind of resembles like a dinosaur skeleton. Now with this in mind, Arcteryx was established in Canada, and the focus and their focus is creating high quality, high performance outdoor equipment and clothing. Now the brand uses its own customized materials similar to that of Canada Goose who use the Arctic Tech material and their own innovative construction technologies to develop the finest products possible. I've been to Arcteryx before, I've been to their head office, I was invited down there to kind of meet the team and to be honest with you I was kind of blown away by the kind of things that they do there. They're a small team based over in Canada. I went to their head office over in I think it was so um, Piccadilly and they were telling me about how they have their in-house design team over in Canada. They have their team of engineers, design specialists and they kind of really take their production of clothing to that kind of next level. They really are about the product, the design, the construction, how can they make products better, how the engineers can kind of add more innovation and technology into the jacket. So they take things to the extreme. This jacket is called the Arcteryx Piedmont Hooded Nylon Down Jacket. This one uses their Arato fabric on the outside, which is uh, water resistant. It also uses their down contour on the inside, which is a, te which is a technology that they which is a trademark technology that they use. This jacket is considered wind resistant and water resistant as well. It's a three quarter length down puffer jacket at £390 for an Arcteryx down jacket. I think it's not too bad. And it's actually, I think it's pretty, pretty reasonable for Arcteryx. So yeah, this is definitely one that I think is quite cool. It's the Arcteryx Piedmont hooded nylon down jacket. Okay, now moving on to the next one. This one I'm quite excited about. It's a brand called Tatris. I have talked about this brand quite some time ago in the past. Now, if you're looking for a Montclair Meyer, but you think the Montclair Meyer pricing is a little bit too high, well, actually more than a little bit too high, if you think it's astronomically high because they're about a grand now, considering where they were like 550 or 600, definitely around that price point. So they've more or less doubled since when I first started getting into Montclair back in the day. This one is called the Tetras Belbo Nylon Down Jacket. Tetras is actually a Japanese based brand, or at least it originated in, from Japan and it started in 2006. They've actually moved their company and they're now based over in Italy to kind of deal with more of the Italian and the US market. It's definitely one that I think w that will be worth keeping on the radar um, in terms of something a little bit different. But the jacket that I just pointed out, the Belbo Nylon Down Jacket, I personally think that's a really nice alternative to the Montclair Maya. And they also use a similar sizing system to Montclair in terms of the numerical sizing. I've only kind of seen these available at Louisa Via Roma at the moment, but don't be surprised if you see this one kind of get a little bit bigger or you start seeing more people wear it but Tatras remember where you heard that first could be one to look out for could be pretty decent okay now moving on to my next one as we get a little bit higher in price is the para jumpers now I've covered a review on the para, para jumpers before I've actually done a review on the para jumpers Gobi base down jacket which is available here at 663 pounds I own one of these jackets myself and I can honestly say the quality on this jacket and the building construction is really really good and um, it was actually started in two 2005 so it's not such an old brand but it was interesting because the founder of para jumpers when he was over in, in alaska in a bar he met the actual para jumpers who are kind of like in, an elite rescue team in alaska tell him the stories of the different rescue missions and the equipment and the extreme temperatures that these guys had to kind of endure when they were rescuing people can you imagine being out in alaska kind of rescuing people it's a little bit like a movie kind of scenario but this guy was really taken back by that and he went ahead and designed his own jackets called the para jumpers as i said i do own one of these in a green color very very nice jacket i do recommend it para jumpers and that's at 663 pounds this one actually you can get 35 percent off this jacket go down in the description box below and you will go ahead and find that okay now moving on to my last two jackets we have the moose knuckle this is the moose knuckles free cue down jacket with fur now this is a very very serious jacket i actually done a review on this jacket so if you check the last video um you will see that i've actually got this this knuckles free q down jacket super nice jacket very very warm i personally think the quality of this is better than the canada goose um it's a lot thicker it's a lot warmer it's a lot durable in my opinion the only thing about the 
Moose Knuckles, I would say, is branding-wise, I prefer the branding of the Canada Goose. In terms of it being a jacket that's different, something that's a little bit more unique, something that's very, very durable, then I think the Moose Knuckles is definitely a good one to go for. Now, we've already put this out on our social media and on our website, thehoxandtrend.com, um, showcasing the 35% off. And I know a lot of followers have messaged already and said they've got some really good deals on Moose Knuckles, so they're very happy. So again, if you want to find this deal, if you want to find what the code is, go down to the description box below and there's a code reveal down there where you will get the discount code, take you straight over to Louisa Vieram and get yourself 35% off Moose Knuckles, okay? Now, unfortunately, this particular model, the 3Q down jacket is not available on the 35%, but trust me, there's a whole bunch of other Moose Knuckles um, jackets on there that have 35% that are just as good as this one. So check that out, okay? Right, moving on to the last jacket in the selection of my all-budget winter down jacket review is the Canada Goose Carson down jacket. On Louisa Villaroma, they've got quite a wide range of Canada Goose. So I know a lot of Canada Goose is selling out in different places. So um, checking out Louisa Villaroma could be a good place to start. But the Carson down jacket, I've just done a recent review on that jacket. One of my favorites, very warm, very durable. It's a longer parka jacket. So it just goes just down the waist. It's got the fur, it's got the extended hood as well. Water resistant, wind resistant. I mean, let's be honest, in terms of um, winter down jackets and luxury appeal, Canada Goose currently is seems to be the king of down jackets um, currently available at Louisa Villaroma. So you could go and check that out. They are available in lots of different colors and they've got quite a lot of different selections on there, okay? In the meantime, I'm out of there. I've got a 100K video coming really soon. It's gonna be really special, so I'm looking forward to do that. But in the meantime, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace out.